I'm at the NAMTA show at the Activa booth, and I'm here with Miss Candy Cooper. Hey, everybody. And she's going to show us how to play with celluclay. Right. Okay, so for people that aren't familiar okay. with celluclay, celluclay is a paper mache material that is actually comes as um, ground up paper with the binder in it. It's a green product. We use uh, recycled magazines. But when you get it, you, it comes in a compressed block and it looks like this. What you would do is add the required water um, to the bag and then you would knead the um, clay right in the bag. And when you're finished, you get a really great paper mache material. Instead of having like the strips of paper and the wheat paste, this um, is, you know, the same thing, paper mache, lightweight, but without all the mess. Cool. So I've gone ahead and mixed some up and rolled them out. If, you're, if you want to do something like this paper looking um, uh, idea, you would roll it in between like two Ziplocs and then you can shred it into all different kinds of um, pieces. We're making these for handmade cards because we're heading to the stationery show. So we wanted to make some little embellishments. Um, but these would be great to, you know, decoupage things to or, you know, do major size canvases or whatever. But um, today I'm using the Koi watercolor brush pens. And super easy, you would just color your design onto your piece. And I like to tell people to stay, you know, if you're just starting out with these, stay in your color, um, you know, warm colors or all cool colors or whatever. Put in some light purple. And you would just doodle a design. You could do swirls, you could do spirals, whatever you want. And then when you're finished, um, you would just go over it with water. And so let me grab a paintbrush here and then just brush over your design. How cool is that? Yeah, and it just bleeds. And you can see some of these that I've already done. Here's a good one, this one where I brushed over. And then um, just for fun, to add another layer, you can switch over to your Jacquard, <laughs> Jacquard, um, excuse me, <laughs> Jacquard Pearl X paints. And you can, um, I found out that, I guess Jacquard doesn't make these anymore. Oh. Because Jacquard's at this show. And they, I, they came over, I bought these back in 2003. Don't tell them, craft hoarder, right here. And we I all are. Come I on, seriously. I haven't used. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. And I was like, he's like, we don't have those anymore, you know, or whatever. And I'm like, well, I'm just, I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use them up. I'm gonna use them up. But he said you can buy the powders and make your own. So if you want to make something like this, so you mix it and let you it dry. You can mix the powders with a binder. Someone was saying something like a gum arabic, or something. But I think the metallics on top of the koi watercolors, on top of the celluclay, mm -hmm. is a really nice beginning to like a collage, right? Well, the metallics just make it pop. Don't they? Yeah, that just... Simple too, right? Very so quick this, and yeah. simple. So the celluclay takes about a day to dry. I like to lay it over a register so it dries even faster. Okay. But, um, you know, you can make big sheets of it or these little ones. And someone else online was saying these would be cute pens, which you know, to do little yep. collage pens. And you can so, layer them. Yeah. So yeah. What, you what, can, can you actually cut it into shapes? No, if you, listen. Super, oh my goodness. Yeah, super, super hard. hard. Like, well, how about before it's dry? Could I cut, could you, yeah, with cookie cutters or, um, you know, just a craft knife or something like okay. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. totally. But these are a great start. Whatever your favorite craft is, I, you know, you can use celluclay and go from there. Perfect. Thanks, Candy. Thanks, Anne.